Well, hey guys, get excited. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the best body care products from 2021. These are, you know, lotions, creams, body washes, you name it, so get excited. Y'all seem to really be enjoying my best of 2021 series. I have it all in a playlist that I'll link down below. I've got a best of acne, best of hair care, best sunscreen, best cleansers for oily skin. So check those out if you missed them. Speaking of sunscreen, <laughs> The best body sunscreen, in my opinion, is the La Roche-Posay Anthelos Melt-In Sunscreen Milk. This is their SPF 60, but they also make an SPF 100, which was featured in my best sunscreen video. Now, this can be used on the face and the body, but the reason why I particularly want to draw your attention to it as a body sunscreen is that a lot of times when we rely on body sunscreens, we have a lot of surface area exposed. Say you're gonna be at the beach, maybe you run outside and you wear shorts and a tank top or something and you need body sunscreen, but it can get hot. Body sunscreens can feel oppressively occlusive, retard the evaporation of sweat that can make you overheat, make you feel itchy, uncomfortable, they're sticky, they're greasy. This product absorbs very quickly into the skin. It has a little bit, it has low molecular weight alcohol in it, which makes it for a fast absorbing formulation. So it's not greasy, it's free of fragrance and it's water resistant, so it stays in place well. Even though it has low molecular weight alcohol in it, it's not drying, it's actually pretty moisturizing. It's a chemical sunscreen, there's no cast. Now with this sunscreen, if you do get in the water, participate in water sports, as soon as you get out of the water, you do still need to reapply it even though it is water resistant. I know that's a misconception people have when they see water resistant, they think, oh, okay, cool. It doesn't come off in the water. No, it does come off in the water, just not as much as a non-water resistant. So it, meaning it will offer you some ongoing protection while you are physically in the water because you can get burned while you're in the water. In fact, it's actually very common that people do get a sun burn while they are in the water because their body is cool and they don't realize that they're getting burned. Stays in place really well, doesn't feel greasy, make you overheat, and offers really good broad spectrum protection against those UVA and UVB rays. Now, speaking of sunscreen for the body, this is one I frequently recommend. It's by Eustrin. It's their Daily Hydration SPF 30 Cream. You actually can also put this on the face, but it is a lot more moisturizing than the La Roche-Posay Anthelos. This is a good body sunscreen for days when you are, you know, maybe mostly indoors, you wear shorts, you want something that is moisturizing, it's not greasy, it's not gonna leave residue all over the place. This would be a great option. It is free of fragrance, it absorbs really fast into the skin, but leaves the skin soft and moisturized. You can use this as a hand cream, a face cream, a neck cream. It's just a really good head to toe body, body moisturizer that happens to have sunscreen in it. So this is a great option for days that you are, you know, mostly indoors. I wouldn't rely on this, however, for days where you're gonna be participating in sport or, you know, water activities, being outdoors for a prolonged period of time. In those cases, you do want a water resistant sunscreen like the Melton Sunscreen Milk. All right, by this point, watching my channel, you should know that retinols or retinoids, they're good ingredients in skincare. They have anti-aging outcomes of boosting up collagen production, smoothing out wrinkles and fine lines. They help remove some sun damage and they are helpful for acne. But most people think about them for the face, but retinols, can be used on the body. Now, most retinols that you buy or retinoids, they're gonna come in a small tube. They're meant for the face, but they make body moisturizers with retinol in them. And one that I have recommended in numerous videos that's really good is this one by Advanced Clinicals. It is free of fragrance. It's a retinol moisturizer. It has green tea in it, which is an antioxidant that may help combat oxidative stress. And what I like about it is that it's actually pretty moisturizing. I have a video as a side note, which I'll link down below on the best body retinols, but this is a standout product. It's simple, it's effective, it's affordable. Now I get questions, can I use this on the face? You certainly can try because it is a product made for the body. It is a thicker consistency. And in that case, because it is a thicker consistency, it can feel heavy. For some people with a very sensitive skin, it may make them feel overheated and flushed and red. And for others, it might trigger an irritant folliculitis because of the heavier consistency. But give it a try. It may end up working out just fine for you. Products for the body, they often can be used on the face with the caveats that I've mentioned here that they can be a little bit too thick, make you feel overheated, cause irritant folliculitis, but always worth a try, especially if it helps, helps you cut down on the number of products you have to buy and use. 
All right, I have another body moisturizer here that I discovered this year and fell in love with. It's by Bioderma. It's their Atagerm, um, Atagerm Ultra Nourishing Cream. And this one, I love it because it has niacinamide in it, which is a helpful ingredient, not only for redness and for improving the health of the moisture barrier, but for hyperpigmentation. And I know a lot of you guys deal with hyperpigmentation at body sites like under the arms or under the breasts, where if you use typical skin lightening ingredients, like hydroquinone or retinol or a hydroxy acid, it's going to be too irritating in those areas where you have skin faults. Niacinamide is a great ingredient for targeting hyperpigmentation in those areas because it's not irritating like that and it actually can help strengthen the moisture barrier there, reducing irritation overall. Mineral oil, which you guys know is a wonderful occlusive. It's got laminaria extract. That's a marine extract that acts as a humectant, helping to pull water into the top layers of the skin, plumping everything out. Now I've used this on the face. Again, it is a thicker formula, so it may you know make you feel overheated, cause an irritant folliculitis. But for me personally, this works quite well as a facial moisturizer. And it's definitely a standout product in my mind. It is actually kind of similar to another favorite body moisturizer of mine, the La Roche Pose Lipicare cream, but this one's a little bit thicker in consistency. I've rather enjoyed it. Speaking of La Roche Pose Lipicare, let's get into the best body wash this year. This made an appearance in my cleansers for dry skin, but it's their Lipicare Wash AP Plus. This is a fragrance free moisturizing body and face wash. So I love that. It can be used both locations. You don't have to use multiple products. It has a little bit of a foam. It has shea butter, which is a moisturizing ingredient that's possibly helpful in reducing dryness that results from cleansing. It also has niacinamide, like the moisturizer I just mentioned, which is good for you know, redness, irritation, hyperpigmentation. To what extent niacinamide is beneficial in a wash? I honestly don't know, but they continue to put it in washes. So, you know, I, I don't know why they're doing that. <laughs> they continue to put it in washes. It also has disodium EDTA. Now that is a chelating ingredient. And I think it might actually help you guys out who live in areas where you have hard water because EDTA can help you know, kind of bind up some of those minerals that would otherwise interact with surfactants in cleansers and lead to a film on the skin that can cause irritation, acne breakouts, and flares of eczema. Yeah, this is a really, this is a really good one that they came out with. I think it's new this year, honestly. It's new to me this year. So if there's a product that I'm talking about here and you're like, that's not new, it's probably because it's new to me this year. Some of them aren't though. I just, you know, these are body care products that I talked a lot about throughout 2021. We'll call it that too. All right, so now a lot of you guys deal with something called keratosis pilaris, rough and bumpy skin. I have to sing the praises of a wonderful ingredient for that. You've heard me talk about it at length, and that is urea. Now, urea is part of our natural moisturizing factors. At low percentage strengths in moisturizers and skincare products, it can help improve basically moisture content in the skin. But at higher percentages, namely 20% and above, it's also a keratolytic, meaning it dissolves the glue between sticky skin cells, allowing them to exfoliate. So that combination of being a humectant and a keratolytic is exactly what people with keratosis pilaris need because that dry skin condition, you get dry skin cells that heap up around the hair follicle, causing those bumps. But if you try and exfoliate too much, you know, rub them off with a, mitt or a scrub or something that ends up causing more water loss from the skin that can ultimately worsen the condition. So it's kind of a delicate balance and urea is a great ingredient in moisturizers. So Cetaphil came out with this rough and bumpy daily smoothing moisturizer. I rather enjoy. It is it is a new favorite. You know, I love, Eucerin has a ton of wonderful moisturizers with urea and I would say this is competitive. I appreciate that they are transparent with the percentage of urea because a lot of times a product will call out urea as being in there and you don't know what percentage it is. Is it, you know, are we getting into keratolytic concentrations or are we in the humectant concentrations? You know, you, you won't know that. So I appreciate that they tell you that up front because honestly, if you try to put this on your face, it's probably gonna burn and sting, but you may find another moisturizer with urea at a much lower percentage strength that does just fine on the face. And you know, it's acting like a humectant. So we at least know what we're getting with the urea in this and that they're, they disclose a percentage. And what else does this have in it? Glycerin, you know, that's gonna help pull water into the top layer of the skin. This is a product that is free of 
any kind of sodium hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid. I know some of you find that ir irritating. You know, it's a wonderful humectant, pulls water in the top layer of the skin, but some people, you know, they don't get along with it. And I'm often getting questions, can you recommend more products that don't have hyaluronic acid? This one does not. This one also does not have niacinamide. I know, I know some of you, I know some of you are sensitive to niacinamide. And it can be challenging to find moisturizers, especially that don't have it. This is free of niacinamide. So for those of you who find that it is irritating, this would be a good one. Yeah, I really like this. And you know, sometimes urea-based products can go on kind of patchy. This formulation, I think it's because they put sweet almond oil in it as an emollient. It really goes on nice and smooth. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a favorite. I have a luxury product for you guys, but this is an expensive product that I fell in love with this year for the body. It is the Josie Moran Whipped Argon Pro Retinol Body Butter. It's a shea butter based moisturizer with argon oil. This is one that when you put it on, there's almost no greasy effect to it. It really just sinks in very quickly, but it has that argon oil in it, which I think just really smooths out the skin cell edges and really gives a nice glow. But it actually, you know, the shea butter helps reduce water loss from the skin. This is my new favorite luxury product, honestly, from this year. And by luxury, I just mean, you know, one of the expensive, expensive products from Sephora. I really enjoyed it. It doesn't have any fragrance in it. It also has safflower oleosomes, avocado oil. Rather enjoyed that. I would definitely say that is a noteworthy standout product from this year, in my opinion. Okay, this is a product that is not new to me this year. I just used it a lot more this year for whatever reason, and I talked about it ad nauseum. It's a Skin Smart Antimicrobial Spray. I just keep a small bottle of this parked on my treadmill. What the heck is this? It's hypochlorous, which is actually naturally present in our immune system. It helps kill off uh, offending pathogens, bacteria. Spray it on the skin. It can help reduce the burden of bacteria on the skin that break down sweat and lead to body odor. Also those types of bacteria that can aggravate acne, eczema, any kind of skin condition, irritation. You can spray this on your feet. If you have foot odor, it is amazing. So I like keeping it on my treadmill while I'm running. If I'm getting really sweaty, I like to spray this on myself helps to cool me down, and then it helps also in controlling body odor because of the hypochlorous. The nice thing about hypochlorous is that it's not irritating. I mean, it pretty much just converts to saline, so it's like you know salt water more or less. You can put this on any kind of, if you get a cut or a scrape, you wanna clean it off, this is a good thing to use as well. Um, so it's really a versatile product. It's safe to use on the face. You can use it around the eyelids, and it's safe to use in children. I mean, it is, it's just versatile and effective for a variety of you know, minor skin irritations and skin issues. This bar soap is by CeraVe, and I mentioned it in my cleansers for oily skin. It is their salicylic acid bar soap. I wanna draw your attention to this for the body because a lot of you guys, I know you wanna use a bar soap for the body as opposed to a wash to cut down on like plastics and things, which I think is great. I, I suggest this, it's really good. The salicylic acid helps with imparting some acne control. If you deal with that condition, tinea versicolor, salicylic acid can kind of help that as well. That's related to that little yeast that, you know, leaves those patches, discolored patches all over the body, flares up in the summer months when you're really sweaty. Anyways, salicylic acid, you just lather it to these areas, let it sit on the skin for a few minutes, and then rinse it off. It can help with acne control, and again, controlling tinea versicolor. And it also can help in improving hyperpigmentation. Uh, and, but this bar soap is really moisturizing. You know, CeraVe, it, it's not drying, it's not irritating. You can use it on the face as well. This is really good if you get breakouts like on the upper chest or the back and you um, are looking for something to help out with that, just lather this to those areas, leave it on the skin for a few minutes and then rinse it off. I've recommended and still recommend various salicylic acid body washes, but this is a great product if you're looking to, you know, not use the body washes because you want to avoid, you know, as much unnecessary plastic. Definitely check that one out. This is a product most people just don't know about, and so I'm drawing your attention to it. It is Dom Burroughs. This is a great thing to have in your medicine cabinet. It is aluminum acetate soaks. This is very, very helpful for any type of oozy, weepy rash, whether that be eczema, 
foot fungus can be very weepy and oozy, but it's probably gonna be most helpful to you if you are unfortunate enough to get poison ivy. You know how miserable that is, and everybody always has their own remedies for that. Calamine lotion, you know, oatmeal baths, yeah, th those can be helpful. But this is really probably the most soothing thing that you can use for that. You just take a packet and reconstitute it in a pint of lukewarm or cool water, and you can soak the area in directly in that mixture. Or what I also like to do is to take a clean cloth, soak it in that, and apply it as a compress. Really useful for anything weepy. And I know many of you out there deal with hydroadenitis superativa, miserable condition to have to cope with. I have a video all about it, so check that out. But if you are dealing with the, you know, the boils, they become inflamed and they start oozing and weeping fluid, compress with this. It is very soothing and can help alleviate some of that discomfort and allow for those to kind of calm down. I mean, they're really, it's not pleasant to deal with at all. So if you are coping with that, try this out. I mean, very, very helpful for soothing the, those, those painful, painful lesions in the armpit. All right, you guys, so those are all of the body care products from 2021, but I just repurchased this. I wanted to point it out to you guys because I get questions like, can you recommend a way to put lotion on the back, sunscreen on the back? And this is a product that I buy on Amazon. This is actually my second one, and it's a lotion applicator, but I wanted to show it to you guys. I've mentioned it in videos, linked it in videos, but I don't think I've ever actually shown it. It has like a soft it almost looks like a back scratcher but it's flat but this material is like a firm foam so it feels actually kind of soft on the skin as you're rubbing it on your back so it's not it's not like scratching your back or anything aggressive and you can just put your lotion or cream there and put it on your back and then just rinse it off and it stays clean so i want to share that with you guys because i know a lot of you or dealing with like an itchy back or something, you wanna put lotion on your back. This is a good thing to have on hand. They're inexpensive and I, this is my second one. The other one grew legs and walked away. <laughs> um, so I got another one. All right, you guys, that's the best of body care 2021. I hope this video was helpful to you all. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.